Also major changes, traffic changes coming to the Near East Side. News 8's Danielle Zakowski was out driving around to find out just what will be changed and when. Indianapolis DPW says by the end of next year, New York and Michigan streets on the Near East Side will be two-way streets with added enhancements to pedestrian and bicycle travel lanes. Cones and signs are already out, preparing Michigan and New York streets for the start of construction. And soon DPW crews will start the first projects to change them into two-way streets. The work will start at the edge of downtown on College Avenue and stretch out east to Pleasant Run Parkway. Right now you have multiple lanes and in one direction and so it creates a lot of opportunity for people to subconsciously want to change lanes to pass one another having the ability to pass allows people to speed through these near east side neighborhoods so the goal of this project is to slow traffic with the added benefits of new enclosed bike lanes and enhanced pedestrian safety there will be curb separation with landscaping so as much as we can we're going to extend that landscaping separation for the bike uh, and sidewalk users. Um, where it gets a little bit narrower, there won't be as much space to fit trees per se, but there will still be a curb to separate it. Neighbors and advocates in the area want to see safety improvements where they live. We have schools that sit on those streets, and so it can be a little terrifying in the morning when you see cars that completely ignore the school zones and are just speeding down Michigan in an effort to hurry up and get into downtown, really putting the safety of kids and families at jeopardy. And so I think the conversion of those will allow for safer streets. DPW says other cities that have implemented these changes saw a 30 to 40 percent decrease in vehicle versus pedestrian crashes. And by converting two streets, the city maintains the same amount of east and westbound lanes. Early stages of the project will begin this month, while the bulk of the construction will begin next year, and final touches will be added at the beginning of 2025. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.